Oh, that's a fish, that's a fish. That's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish, that's a fish. That's a good fish, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. That's a fish, that's a fish. Well guys, so unfortunate start of the video. Um, apparently the GoPro just wasn't recording any audio right here. I got some video footage, but something got messed up along the way. I don't know if I got water in the mic or something, but yeah, got my first little fish. It took around three hours. Very surprised to get this guy. I was taking a nap, looked up, and my rod was shaking a little bit, reeled it in, had this nice little rat bass. So small little 14 incher. Obviously setting them off. And uh, yeah, just rechunking up with some clam cast back out there stick it in the rod holder and wait for the next fish what's up guys welcome back to our video so it's pretty late right now it's around 6 30 uh yeah 6 30 6 15 ish and i finally just caught my first fish today so i decided to make an intro Bike was pretty slow, um, although the crowds have all pretty much left the beach. It's pretty much just me out here with my fishing rods and a few other people. So I've been fishing for around three hours now. Absolutely chilled to the bones, you guys can probably tell. I mean, I'm sh shivering like crazy. Um, I got these little socks right here. They're supposedly waterproof socks, and I've used them before, but I haven't fully submerged them. So I thought they could replace my waders today because it was around 75 in the afternoon didn't want to have to lug the waders all the way out to the beach and over sweat but got out here and i got water in the socks and now my feet are just freezing with this 60 degree water or whatever and the sun's pretty much going down right now as you guys can see so it's pretty cold but i'm gonna stay out here grind and fish i got a bunch of old rotten clams i need to get rid of so i'm just gonna stay out here to probably sunset Hopefully the bike heats up, the tide has gone down significantly since I started. And I'm hoping I can cast out a little farther now. The wind's kind of dying down, so. Hopefully it's a good little evening. Got around two hours left till, till I dip, so. Just caught that first fish. Hopefully it's a good sign. Um, took a little nap, so. Feeling stoked, hopefully catch some fish, guys. See you on the GoPro, hopefully it's a good little sesh. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's a fish, 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 that's a good fish, that's a good fish, that's a good fish. What the frickin' A? Holy crap. Holy crap, guys. That's a fish, that's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, yeah, baby. About to go pee in that hole over there. That's a monster. Dude. Oh, no. No. No, I lost him. Frick. That was a beast, dude. That was a tank. Oh my God, that thing was huge. That thing was so big. Holy, holy, shit. that thing was huge. He broke my freaking hook. No, he didn't, he just popped off. Jesus, guys. That was a monster bass. That was something giant. Holy sh You guys just saw, oh my God, that thing was so big. Dude, that was the biggest fish of my life on the beach. Even that drum I caught a few weeks ago did not hit anywhere like that. Guys, that was a freaking tank of a fish, dude. Holy God. How did I lose that thing, guys? That thing was giant. That was probably a giant striper. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Maybe a drum. Dude, that thing took off like a dang. I was about to go pee in that hole over there. I mean, I still have to, but holy God. That thing took off like a beast. I had two clams on there, so I'm going to do this time. Dude, he just ripped on me. I mean, I've had sharks do big runs like that. That was a mondo, dude. Oh my God. How in the world did I lose that fish? What the frick, dude? He was just running like there's nothing I could have done to stop that guy. I cranked down the drag a tiny bit from where it was, which was in like 
almost free sport and it just popped. Monster dude, oh my god. All right, I'm definitely staying out here, dude. That thing was a tank. Holy crap. My adrenaline is so insane right now. I mean, I could, I mean, my feet are numb, pretty much. I, these things are so soaked because they just got too much water in them. I can't even feel my feet. That was a huge fish, dude. That was so big. That was the biggest fish I've ever caught on the beach. It probably bigger than any of the sharks, dude. That guy was ripping. I mean, this is a drag I had. You guys can see it is not that tight at all. I mean, all I wanted to do was just stop that fish for a second. I didn't set the hook. I didn't do anything wrong. He just popped off. Holy crap. Nice little sail bar out here to help me cast out again. That's where they are. Let's see if I can get another one. Jesus, that thing was giant, man. That was so big. All right, we still got probably two hours. I might even stay a little bit in the dark. Didn't bring a headlamp, but that was a giant fish, dude. He was ripping drag for like a solid 20 seconds before I stopped him. I mean, that fish, whew, that was probably a big, big bass, man. Oh my God can't believe this rod dude that was still unfathomable the size of that fish was huge i've never had i mean i've had yeah sharks do that obviously but that was not a shark i mean definitely not even a dogfish dogfish hit a lot differently than that fight a lot differently that was i think probably my biggest striper ever it's the second year in a row i've lost a potentially 30 pound plus striper i'm gonna say that guy's around 40 inches I mean, I'm estimating here, but there are 45 inch I caught a few days ago on this exact street right here. I caught some smaller striper so far today. There's been a, a pretty intense striper bite down south, so they have to swim here. I've got some clam. I knew I'm gonna catch fish. I mean, I, I, I hooked them, I just didn't land them. <laughs> That's a shame. Hopefully they show up. Still got around an hour and a half left. Maybe I'll get something out here. That's fish, that's fish, that's fish, that's fish, that's fish, that's fish. Let's go, let's go. Another one, man. Oh my God, what the heck is out there right now? That's a fish. Please don't pop the hook. Please don't pop the hook, guys. Please don't pop the hook on this one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Come on, buddy. Don't pop off. Dude, the bite is on fire right now, guys. This is the second big fish. Not as big as the first one, not at all. Obviously probably half the size, but a solid fish. I don't know what it is. Striper or drum, 100%. That's definitely what it is. I want to get down there as quick as I can. I don't want to have to uh, risk losing them in the surf. Probably, probably should bounce with the last fish. Oh, still on, still on. Come on, keep, keep attention, keep attention. Come on in, fishy. All I want is a nice little picture. What we got? What we got? I just want to see what you are. Come on, fish. That's a striper. It's got to be a striper. Oh, my God. Not as big as I thought at all. Huh. thought it was a big bass. It's not, not a bad one at all. Definitely making me think the one we had last time, though, was a good fish. He snapped off. He snapped off. Oh, I snagged him. Oh my god, what a catch, dude. I snagged him in the mouth on his way out. Just wanna get a picture with you, bud? Come on, relax. So the one I had was probably twice the size of this. And this is a good 20 inch, so the one I had, no doubt in my mind, it was a 40 inch bass. Not a bad fish at all. Just wanna get a quick pick of them, then we'll send them off. There we go, guys. 
Second fish of the day. He's in probably 22 inch. I don't want to bring out tape measure on this guy. I just want to send him back. But there we go. I just want to show the camera the fish. Cool little bass. Send him off. Yeah, guys. Do not want to have these guys out of water too long. Last thing I want to do is increase the post release mortality. I just want to get some pictures for the video. A lot of other guys keep him out of water, but that was probably only 20 seconds. He'll be all right as long as I revive him nice and good. Yeah, probably a little 20 incher there. Made a good run on the uh, the uh, airwave over there. That's a second striper, decent fish. The one I had was probably twice the size. No doubt in my mind that was a 40 inch to 40 pound fish on that rod right there. Absolute tank of a striper, dude. Let's see what else you can get out here, guys. Hopefully some more fish that aren't dogfish or skates. Grinding, put the time in, and the fish will come. Well, guys, gonna have to wrap it up here. Um, you guys can see, sun is set. I need to get going. And uh, I mean, yeah, we caught some fish. Did not land that prize third fish that I was looking for. Um, I missed that giant one too, which sucks. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna haunt me for a while again, I guess. But you know what? We caught fish, all that matters. I didn't really expect to catch much out here today. Um, oh, there we go. We got two stripers. I, I can't wait to look at the GoPro footage and see that rod bend again. I'm happy I actually captured that on the GoPro. That was pretty cool. Um, when we go take a pee, turn around, it's like <laughs> so. That was sick. But uh, yeah, sunset. Haven't had a bite in about an hour, so. I'm dipping. Uh, socks are filled with water, but I am going to put a link in the description for these guys. If you guys do want to check them out, especially kayak guys or anyone with leaky waders, which is what I actually bought them for. Um, they do keep your feet dry as long as you don't wade above above the uh, whatever the lip right there. So all that water in there is now warm because it's just been sitting next to my feet. But I'm going to reel these rods in. Have had no bites in an hour. Um, I missed one skate on the GoPro for you guys and I actually caught a herring too. I was throwing out a mag daughter on a teaser. Didn't record that though because GoPro issues, of course. Um, yeah, that guy was probably 22 inches. It was actually bigger than the striper. It was a freaking huge herring. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. A lot more saltwater action coming up. Hopefully some more drum stripers. Probably my last striper mission for the year. They're going to be winding down right around now. Tomorrow's June 1st, so... They'll be getting out of here. Bluefish never really made a showing, but hopefully the drums stay around maybe three more weeks. Um, definitely be out here on the beach. And then, you know, it's it's summer, summer. We got fluke, kingfish, sheep's head, triggerfish, and tuna. So stay tuned, guys. A lot more cool videos coming up on the channel. As always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Never end the send. Get out there, explore, fish. See you guys in the next one. Peace.